You say welcome to another episode. Oh, you say welcome. in another episode. This is a of... special episode. Okay. Welcome to another episode by Travel Rocks Our World. No, I can't do that wrong. What is it? I have no clue. Welcome. No, I'll do the welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I got no idea. And then you do it. And this is a special, special. episode. Special. Hi, welcome back to Travel Rocks Our World. And a special episode of a rum that all Kiwis know. No, you've missed the uh, <laughs> blame on the alcohol. Oh, but you never said the blame yeah, on the alcohol. Yeah, you've got to do the blame yeah, on the alcohol. Okay, episode of blame with go. us. Hi, welcome back to Travel Rocks Our World. And a special episode of Blaming on the Alcohol with a rum that most Kiwis slash New Zealanders will know. So let's check it out after the intro. Blame it on the Blame it on the Blame it on the Welcome to the bar. Can I get you a drink? <laughs> blame it on the Henny. Blame it on the Goose. Got you feeling dizzy. Blame it on the Alcohol. Blame it on the Yeah. Cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night While I'm on my yingling While I'm drinking Bud Light Uh, can you get it when you miss me? Like I'm with whiskey, drinking Jim Beam Yeah, baby, do you do it, do it Alright, today We're looking at The dirty old Karuba Karuba rum It's Caribbean rum I think all Kiwis uh, New Zealanders will know about this rum It's been oh, How long has it been in New Zealand for? A long time. I can remember. I remember it must have been in the eight. Well, when I was legally allowed to drink, it was around then. What were you for? Legally allowed to drink. Ha <laughs> ha. So all Kiwis know it's been around. Um, it's imported rum. I'm not sure if it comes in the bottles or if it's bottled here in New Zealand. But like I said, it's a staple. It used to be. The only rum I think New Zealanders could get, except there's another Black Heart rum, yep. which probably wasn't as good. Um, I've had many a nights on this rum, have you? And some not uh, good, good Didn't nights. Didn't end well. Yes, they have not ended well, so. Uh, it was fun at the time. Yeah, fun at the time. Now we're going to taste it straight. She's not a real sipping rum, I don't think. We're going to give it a little try, see what it tastes like. Um, it's usually you mix it, and we'll show you. I'm a bit of a mixed snob, but I'll show you what you mix it with, and the main thing you mix it with. So let's crack it open. Screw top, mass produce. I'll say it's probably New Zealand, still New Zealand's top selling rum. Probably. Probably close. Uh, Appleton's is right up there. Yeah, Appleton's. Once Appleton's made its way to New Zealand, uh, people started to change, getting off the good old dirty crew, but she wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll crack it open and have a little taste, a bit of a sniff, and see what it tastes. Oh, I haven't had any of this for a long time. We won't put a lot in the glasses because I don't know if we really want to. <laughs> I even know people today that still won't drink rum because they've had a bad night on Karuba and they won't touch rum after it. <laughs> well, I think she's a 37. Yeah, it's down 37.2. Oh, I've even lowered it even more. It used to be a 40 percenter, I think. Yeah, I'm going to show you something in a minute. We're going to have a bit of a taste test against it. So let me have a... Oh. Yep. That's my thing. Yeah, in a minute. Oh, all right then. You can have ice so you can get, yeah. get a taste Pull it of. down a bit, I think. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to have a... Yeah, all right. Not, She's a bit harsh. Yeah, not really. Whew, she should be a pretty, uh, yeah, even at 37.2, she's still pretty uh, tasty. I don't think you're getting a lot of, uh, <laughs> I don't think you're getting a lot of uh, any tasting notes out of there except uh, a bit of petrol. <laughs> Not ideal. Oh. I'll have a mix of things next. Uh, we have to do the other, we have to do this other little bit of look at this next tasting but all right i'm going to add a bit of ice and see if it cools it down or makes any difference a little bit all right 
not edge blunt. Mm, I reckon. But it's not ideal either. Yeah, I was going to, I was going to get black heart as well to compare it with black heart, but I didn't get around to get any out, so we just got the Karuba. But we've got something else special here. I'll once I've tasted this, I'll we'll show you the, the what I've found. So we'll give this a bit of a taste. Oh, it does take the edge off a little bit, that ice. Yes, it takes it off a little bit. Oof. You, you could you could probably get away to drinking it with no, ice by itself. No, you could. No, no, yeah. no. Right, move mm. that to your side. Now, for anyone who first started drinking Kruber, they will know this this label. Now, this is the label they used to be. I think they changed to the new one in the 90s, I think. So I don't know how old this one is. Uh, my parents got for a present and she's still this is at least well if it's from the 80s or the 70s as we know uh, doesn't age in the bottle but we'd like to have a taste test against an older version of it and see what it's like if it's any different so um, I don't want any of this <laughs> thanks you pull that in there yeah oh no yes well oh, you should have kept that because you needed to taste this one against it now like I, I've said in my previous thing about um, watering down the alcohol in the first episode, this is 40%. This is now 37.2%. So I'd expect this to be 375 which is the standard now in New Zealand, but it's not, it's even gone lower. And like I said, it pushes out the volume. So this is 40%. Let's have a little uh, taste test of this one. Let's we'll see if it's any different to the new one. I'm not holding my breath. I'd say it's going to be more or less exactly the same. Just a smidge of pink. Pink. The colour looks similar. The colour doesn't, yeah, it's some very similar colour. Smells like petrol too. Sounds like petrol as well. Well, she's, oh, I think she's, I think it even smells worse than the original, doesn't it? Uh, the, the new one. Holy heck, they must just, I don't, I'd, I'd love to go and see where they distill oh. it. I'd love to go to the Caribbean and find out where they distill it. Oh. I don't know if they distill it or they just put petrol <laughs> from a car and paint and make it darker. Oh, wait, I'm that, I reckon that tastes a bit better than... Yes, please. Yeah, well, you have a bit of ice. I want to have... Um, Okay. I'll grab your glass over there. Can you grab it? I you wanna, mix them up? No, no, I want to have a taste of that new one compared to the old one. Because I think that old one actually tastes a bit better. Like I said, the colours are about the same. There's not much difference. Mm. Smells a bit. This one, like, this is the Karuba smell I expect, and that's the new one. This is the old one, more got more of a pitcherly smell. But then that's funny, because the newer one tastes more like petrol, and the older one tastes more like rum. So that's, I don't know how that comes about. Can we mix, please? All right, you're gonna do you're gonna do ginger ale, and I'm gonna show you how it's properly made. So a little bit more ice, though, thank you. A little bit more ice. All right. Yeah, I think the new one tastes more like petrol than the older one. As you can see, we're not getting many tasting notes out of this. Yeah, it tastes like petrol. Because that's the way it tastes. And that's, yeah, that's why I call it 30 Old Karuba, because, and that's why people don't drink rum these days, because they have a real bad night on this shit. So, but like I said, um, actually they have got a golden Karuba now, which is quite, it's not too bad. You can, you can get away with drinking that. And then 
overseas you can't get it here in New Zealand there's a, a proper Karuba brand which has different all different ages and I just don't know why we never got that in New Zealand all we got was the whole Karuba and that was it so what does that one taste like with the much nicer much nicer yep. all right I'm gonna show you how you mix uh, this is the only way you used to have Karuba Right, so I'll get a bit of ice now. I'm going to use my hand, I hope you don't mind, because we're not going to use this ice anymore. Alright. I'm going to use the new curve for that. Put that out there. Um, Alright, it used to be a half and half mix nearly, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that today. I'm close to it, get close to it. And... Like I said, I'm a bit of a, a mixing snob, but with Karuba, it's classic Coke, nothing else. You can't have it with anything else except Coke. That's how you, how you what? Drown out the petrol. Petrol. How you stop? And all you can do is taste Coke. And that's it. That's your classic Karuba rum and Coke mix, and that's all you have. And this stuff you used to drink. How does that taste? Mm, yeah, I say it's going to taste nice. I say. Oh yeah, I can taste the coke. It's beauty. She's drowned out the Karuba petrol. But <laughs> well, being a classic New Zealand rum, but you know that's all we used to drink when we were younger. What sort of rating would you give that? On a scale of five, there is no number. <laughs> oh. Look, as a classic, when you're young and you don't know any better, drink for a night out is probably fine. Probably right at a one, maybe. But as a drink now, no thank you. I'll give it. So we've got a whole bottle to get through at some stage. I don't know. Me and my mate, I might take it up to my mate and we might drink that because uh, get back to a bit of old old times talking and drinking Karuba. But yeah, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Alright. I'll give it a I'll give it I'll be a bit more nicer because of the memories. 1.5 stars out of five for me. But yeah, uh, like I said, you need to mix it with that coke. Any other pointers on Karuba? No, don't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> if you just, again, want a, a boozy night where it doesn't really matter, it's fine as a drink that's with the standard mixer. Yeah. But if you're wanting something a little bit more delicate, not the drink for you. And it's a shame I didn't bring the Blackheart because I think the Blackheart, Blackheart rum is even worse than this. We might do that on another episode. Yeah, all right. Um, so, yep, that's uh, another episode wrapped up for uh, uh, Blame It On The Alcohol. If you're new here and you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. And if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. And I'd say that'd be about it for this video. So we'll see you later. Laters.